Okay, what's up guys? It's Monday. Uh, today is a national holiday here in Cambodia. It's a national remembrance day. So of course I didn't have school. I thought I'd take this opportunity and come down to this area. I am right now between uh, Anchor High School Road, which is down there, and up here further is Sadehoy, or Sadehoy, which is a market. This was the last known location of my buddy John Smith from a couple of videos ago. We're down here asking people questions. We came down once before, uh, didn't get much of a response. At the most, people just kind of look at the picture and shrug their shoulders. They they see a lot of tourists, a lot of barangs every day. It can be hard to pick us out. We all look alike. So I'm trying some of these streets in between the market and the road back there. And uh, I've asked a couple people, uh, one at a bakery and coffee shop, a couple of tuk tuk drivers that look like they hang out in this area. And uh, a lady at the laundry, one of the laundromats, because if he's here, he's got to be doing laundry somehow, right? <clears throat> but so far, uh, nobody says they have seen him, don't know who he is, that kind of thing. Okay, it looks like this road is kind of a dead end. It just dead ends into a big... apartment, I guess. Uh, really fancy apartment building, and it looks like a home. And according to the mailbox, that is not the address I'm looking for. So, hmm. Hi, hi, Mama. <laughs> so that one wasn't it. I think we'll go and head back toward the market. Ask a couple more of the <coughs> vendors because there's uh, certain things you can ascertain. You know, if somebody's living here in an apartment, most of the apartments do not have laundry facilities, so they'll have to do laundry. Uh, some of them may have little restaurants out in front, but eventually you'll have to go to a a store or a market and buy food and of course if you're a person who drinks alcoholic beverages you probably want to find a local bar to call home so to speak when you go out drinking I don't see too many of those around here not too many bars But anyway, I will keep you updated. Talk to you later. Oy vey. Hey, we have a hilly, dusty uh, back roads and another dead end here. Uh, we're just trying all these uh, little shops and apartments. Nobody seems, well, they look at the picture, they don't seem to recognize them, they just shake their heads. And at one point I did see an address that said 0149. This is significant because <clears throat> he gave me an address, he didn't give me the road, just the general location, but he said his address was 0196. So I thought it might have been on the right trail there, but... Further down, the only uh, 
buildings that would have been available uh, were not uh, apartment buildings. They were like uh, private villas and uh, a few <clears throat> that were still under construction. I guess we'll try this other little alley here. As far as this part of town goes, it's nice. I like it. But it's been a pretty brutal couple hours. It's sunny, it's hot. And the worst part is no nothing else to go on, no. I'm just looking for one person who can say, oh, you know what, I think I think I recognize him from somewhere. That would give me something. <clears throat> but to keep you updated, his family did say they were contacting the embassy tomorrow. Uh, that'll give us some information because they should know if he's still in Cambodia with his, according to his passport. Uh, best case scenario, I'm thinking maybe he decided to head over to Thailand for a month or two. Maybe Vietnam, check out some other places while he's here. Uh... Which makes sense because the dentist here could not do the procedure he wanted to. And I'm thinking perhaps he decided to go to Thailand and get that procedure done. That procedure could take more than one trip. It could take a few trips. Maybe he just got a hotel there. Uh, I don't know why he wouldn't contact his family about that. Maybe he's waiting for it to be a surprise. He certainly wouldn't be able to call me from a Thai SIM card unless he had my number I guess and even then I'm not sure I'm not sure how that works but <clears throat> so maybe he just has been incognito uh, because of those reasons is what I'm hoping but then another part of me says when he saw the, he, if he is paying attention at all has any kind of internet and he saw my video where is John Smith or help me find John Smith he would have he could have at least found some place to quickly log in uh, just send me a little message an email a text message something saying don't worry dude I'm okay I got a surprise tell everyone not to worry or some other sort of message like that Anyway, I think it's time to get out of this heat for a while. It's pretty hot. Oh, and I'm getting little rocks in my flip-flop. Oh, this was a bad mistake. This was a bad idea coming this way. It's the last time I'm listening to Sing Lai. I know they said, uh, uh, his family said he was FaceTiming them uh, from his new place. And they, they remember seeing the balcony and the mango tree. So hopefully they're checking out this video and seeing if there's anything around here they recognize. Maybe from the video that could give some indication of which building it is. Maybe a, they just, you know, something. There's a tower down there, tower down there, construction here. Uh, yeah, but so far today, no look. I'll talk to you guys uh, later. All right, guys, it's now uh, Wednesday. I didn't really have a way to end that video, and somebody said they wanted to see Sang Lai cook in our small little kitchen. There she is. Got some pork going on in there. Right now, she's boiling some eggs. So far looking good. <laughs> yeah. Alright. <clears throat> As you can see we don't have a lot of space and it always amazes me what she can do with the little space she has. She gets her hands right in there boy. Just got back from the market.
think that knife needs sharpening. <laughs> so what are you going to do with that? Boiling away. Yeah. You do have other <coughs> things underneath, different kind of condiments, things in the crates uh, over there. These are water jugs that we use for clean drinking water. And of course you always gotta have a sort of good salt, sugar, soy sauce back there, fish sauce. I'll let you know how it goes once she's done cutting and chopping. All right, the chopping is done. The eggs are out. So now she's going to peel the eggs. And I'm going to kill the eggs. Eggs. Kill the eggs. <laughs> uh, don't worry about that. I got the ants. I got the ants. You will get answered, by the way. Just the pesky creatures that you must learn to live with. I'll get back to you when she's done. So you don't have to watch her peel legs for uh, 20 minutes. <laughs> Now the fire goes on, our little uh, cooker. <laughs> I believe you. She's going to cook that down. Eggs are all peeled. It's the Sengalai cooking channel. She's waiting for it to do something. I don't know what. But we'll all find out soon. There we go. The sugar got nice and caramelized. Now we can go some fish sauce. I think that's fish sauce. Ooh, it smells good.
a little bit more to thin it out. I mean, and in goes the pork. Mm -hmm. Getting nice and coated with that sugar fish oil mixture. Cooking that for a while. Man, I'm telling you, that smells good. It smells good. Yeah. All right, now uh, starting to boil away with the eggs in there. And of course, some chopped onions. Yeah. Got some eggs, got some pork. We're gonna have some onions in there, yum. Yeah. So far looking good. And now the onions have gone in. So we have the onions, we have pork, we have eggs, we got a nice broth going on there. And some herbs to add to it at the last minute. Mm. Yeah, it's amazing what people can do here in these small little kitchen areas. I love it. And there we have it, it's done. We have some rice to go along with the meal. Very good, very yummy made in that small little kitchen right there through that door. So there it is, cooking with Sing Lai. <laughs> in a kitchen about the size of a closet. All right, I'll talk to you guys in the next one.